Beautiful evening, beautiful people. It's time to make some dark lighting animations that you often see in product renders. So we are going to start straight away. We've got this iPhone right over here. It's going to be a pretty short tutorial because it's quite easy to do. Uh, actually, this is already set up quite the way I want it to be. I'm going to press on seven. I'm going to press on control alt zero and you can see that the iPhone is tilted. So we can either rotate the iPhone or rotate the camera. In this case, I'm going to rotate the camera by minus 90 degrees and I will set the camera to 80 millimeters. I'm going to click right over there, set it to 80 GZZ and let's bring this outwards G and X make sure it's nice in the middle now for the lighting I'm basically going to use a three-point lighting setup I've already shown you in a couple of videos how to do this especially in the one that's called the only lighting video you ever need and the three-point lighting system is actually available on my gumroad for free the asset browser I'm going to open it point lighting setup you can drag it in like this and basically what it comes down to if you want to do it for yourself uh, it's an empty and this empty has a three-point lighting setup connected to it We've got a bigger soft light right over here. We've got some harsher lights right over there. And basically what it's doing, if I set this to cycles, you can see that it is casting lights from all the areas. And if we rotate this around, we get some pretty cool looking shadows. And that is going to save you some time in the future. So I am opening up the world properties and setting this to zero because now it's entirely dark. And if we want to have this cool rim light effect, all we have to do is simply take this three point lighting and let's bring it downwards. And uh, basically, if we rotate this around now, we get a pretty cool looking rim light effect. And that's basically all there is to it. There's not that much going on here. I'm going to set it to something like this because we get this cool looking edge right over here, R and Z. And that means that the camera is also going to be lit. It's not going to be lit by those ones. It's only going to be lit by the big ones. And uh, this is the way that the animation is going to work. So let's animate it. Let's go to the timeline. I'm on frame one. I'm going to press I. I'm going to frame, let's say, 88. And right over here, I'm going to press RZ and rotate this around. I'm going to rotate it in this side. Maybe something like, uh, like this should do. Press I. And then uh, we should have a lighting animation with some light going around the iPhone. And now before we actually start working with the graph editor, let's say that we go to frame 44, which is the halfway through, and we want to have the Apple logo visible. So what I'm going to do is press R and Y maybe, or R and X, and make sure that we get this cool lighting effect where we can actually see the logo. So I'm going to press I once again, and now we should have darkness for the entirety small rim lights showing the apple logo and it turns back to a dark animation so i'm going to press on control tab and now we've got the graph editor i will go into the z unit rotation in this case because it is rotating on the z axis and maybe we want to play around with this now in this particular case all i want to do maybe is have this one be a little bit faster because it's quite linear right now i'm going to set this to the side and make sure that the lighting has some sort of fluctuations going on maybe this should be fun Maybe we can uh, bring this inwards just a little bit. And then we get a pretty cool looking light effect. Like this, very slow, a little bit faster there near the end. And that's why we do it. Could be even faster if you ask me. And that just gives it a slight better looking animation and I like the way this looks uh, practically it's done uh, what we can also do is go into the Y Euler rotation you can take this and maybe scale it down and have it be more dotted and this looks pretty cool yeah you can play around with this if you want to do something funky like this this also works so it's showing it and then it is moving ahead in a different direction but it's still giving us some cool lighting uh, really what you do with this rotation doesn't matter that much uh, the Z rotation is the one that makes it count uh, so this is the way that it looks and basically what we did we changed the Z UA rotation to be a bit faster near the end so now it is jerking we've got a cool slow moving animation and the lights going over there that's all there is to it and now the three lighting point setup is done but I find that using this black background can be quite cool it could be done if you want it to be done right now but what i like to do is actually add a camera animation and some background noise so let's first start with the animation because animation is always better to do first and i'm going to select the camera go over here to frame one i'm going to zoom this out maybe somewhere over here press i go to frame 88 zoom it in maybe something like this and i'm also going to rotate it because rotations always look a bit cooler the touch angle they call it so i'm going to select both of these t linear and now it's linear and now the camera is basically moving while we've got our cool looking animation 
And that's the way that we make this animation. Now the only thing that we can improve on is the background, which is what I'm going to do right now. This is also looking very cool, very dark, uh, but I'm going to add a mesh cube, scale it upwards, go to the shader editor right over here, click on new, then I will go to the principled BSDF and delete it. Bring in a principled volume, volume into the volume. Now let's also bring in a noise texture and a color ramp. Factor into the color ramp, color into the density, not into the color. I've made that mistake more often. Uh, increase the scale a bit, uh, play around with it. And uh, also let's scale up our cube. Uh, you can stretch it out like this because we haven't applied the scale. And now all we need to do is change the color. If you make this darker, it's going to be less smoke. And we actually want to have less smoke in this particular case. So let's see something like this. Maybe we're going to increase it anyways play around with it, remove some of the smoke. So it's not too visible, but it's also better than a black background. Uh, play around with the skill of this, play around with whatever things you have. And you can also change this color to maybe be a bit more or a bit less, and the same goes for this one. Now, in order to get the smoke to really work, uh, you need to change the anisotropy. So if we bring this down, it will be affected less by the lighting. And if we increase this, you will only see the lighting in this smoke. Uh, we can kind of determine how crazy our smoke will be. If we have it set to this value, it will be pretty gray, but I actually want to keep the darkness. I just want some more texture. And another thing that you can do is add in a point light. Point light, I guess it's somewhere over there. Let's increase the strength of this by a whole lot, maybe even 10,000. And let's see, where is it? Where is our point light? It's right behind our iPhone. And that's exactly what we want. So let's go into the camera first, view per display, pass part two, and now we only see what we can see in the camera. So you can make some cool lighting on the background here, maybe decrease the power, and you could also give it a color if you would like. So maybe you want it to be a bit more bluish, or maybe you want it to be reddish, give it a different sense, different type of feeling uh, then you might want to go for this so that's just a way to separate the iphone a little bit more with the background all right that's it for this tutorial it was very easy but still i hope you learned a lot these renders are quite common in the product animation niche of course i've set up the entire three-point lighting setup beforehand and you can get that on gumroad for free otherwise i hope you learned how to use smoke to create a little bit more of an interesting looking background i hope you learned a thing or two about animation and last but not least i hope you subscribe so if you want to become an undeniable force in the 3d space then i highly recommend watching this video next i get the money and it's right on cue keep the duffel bag up inside my coop hold a couple racks tell them i love you you want to be a boss do it like i do uh.